I'm really excited to announce that we've just released another new topic into our Einstein Copilot agent, and this is our most sophisticated topic yet. We're taking a call transcript, storing it into a custom object which the agent can then analyse, suggest improvements and perform role play scenarios based on our business discovery framework and the initial transcript, giving the sales team personalised coaching against our business framework, with the end of the process being a training record created in Salesforce for that sales rep. Now, I tasked one of our junior team members who's been with the business for roughly three months, fresh from graduation from university, to build this topic using our process-led approach. Elliot built this working agent in a week. So, here is our UPM process. This is our agent diagram. If I drill in, I'm going to take you through some key aspects of creating an agent diagram, but also the steps this agent is taking in storing the transcript and delivering that coaching against the framework. So anything in purple is an agent instruction and anything in the gold box is an agent action with the input effectively being an if statement. So if the account name and date of call is provided, then perform this action. So at a high level, what is this agent actually doing? So it's getting a call transcript that matches the account name and date given by the end user as part of that conversation. It confirms the transcript is correct. It confirms if the sales rep is ready for the analysis. If the sales rep confirms, we then use a prompt template action. This here is a flow action to get the transcript, but we're then going to use a prompt template action to analyze that transcript and score the discovery framework from one to five, with the discovery framework being within that prompt template. We're going to update some records in Salesforce with the data stored. We then start to branch off. So we've got the option to have a role play or actually use knowledge retrieval to give some more information about that discovery stage with the final section of the process being, okay, create that training record with feedback for performance review. So once I have this agent diagram with my guardrails documented at the top, we can then actually go and create agent instructions. This is uh, the natural language instructions based from the visual representation, it copies it straight into your paste buffer. If we then go into agent builder, you can then paste those instructions straight into this instruction box here. This is a call transcript, so you can see it's gone through and it's scored each, scored each stage of the framework. So business problem, current state, given some issues that need to be addressed, given some explanation of those scores. Now ask me a question, would you like to continue with this scenario or move on to another discovery stage? So I'm going to go, I want to move on. What it should now go and do is basically give me an option to, to work on one of the five discovery stages which it has. So I'm, I'm now going to decide to work on root cause. Root cause was probably my lowest score. It was three out of five, so it was in the middle. It's given me a bit of information about the root cause, why it's important, and now it's going, okay, so do you want to do a role play scenario or do you want more in-depth analysis? I'm going to go, I want to role play based on the call transcript. So what it's going to do here is it's going to set up a role play scenario with me as the sales rep against the initial call transcript. So it should start bringing back sections of the transcript which it has. So it's taken the customer, Elliot Parker, and it's starting to role play to uncover the root causes of issues. So I can now go ahead and start answering questions and enter into a role play. Now, my expectations of set of agent force and what we can do from this particular topic has, has gone through the roof. We now understand the power of agent force, but we understand it because of the process driven approach where we can automatically generate the instructions. We're seeing a real interest in our process-led approach to building agents, so please look out for a more detailed video to come where I'll actually go through this entire use case in more depth and tell you the story of how we got to where we got to.